I'm Dave Nicholson with EMC, and I'm here with Greg Schultz from Intel. And we're here to talk about EMC's flagship products and the EMC Intel relationship. Before we get into the specifics of our products, I'd like to talk about the journey that EMC and Intel have been on together. Uh, going back to about 1999, we started this process of moving all of our platforms onto Intel architecture. Now that transition took about a decade, uh, between 99 and 2009 or so. Since then, we've been on this journey to achieve time to market. We've gotten there with some of our products. The goal is to get there with all of them. Greg, why don't you talk about how we're accomplishing that? Sure. Uh, um, about six years ago, we commenced a series of uh, architectural summits where we take the top architects from both Intel and EMC and get them together in the same room twice a year. In the fall, we do it in uh, New England and at EMC, and in the spring, we do it on the West Coast at Intel. Um, we slide pizza and Red Bull under the door for two full days, and out of it comes a, a, a cooperation and understanding of how we can improve products for both companies. Um, this has led to a, a much greater time to market for EMC in terms of having a head start uh, uh, with Intel technology, as well as greater influence over the technology that exists in the Intel Xeon product la line, such as uh, uh, uncompromised I.O. Uh, bandwidth capability, memory uh, bandwidth capability, and uh, data integrity at the system Just level. Just to recap, um, we've taken a look at five of our flagship products and where they fit in a data center environment. Uh, we've also taken a close look at the Intel architecture that drives them. As these products are refreshed, as we move forward into the future, you'll see these products achieving that magic time to market where we are on the absolute latest and greatest Intel architecture. So we talked today about some of EMC's products, about the fact that not all data is created equal, and we talked about the partnership between Intel and EMC and how long-standing and how tight that partnership is and how important it will be moving forward into the future. Now, from a data storage perspective, there's a reason why that's so important. We know that between 2010 and 2020, studies suggest that the amount of data that will need to be stored globally is going to increase somewhere between 40 and 50 fold. Now again, not all of that data is created equal or equally. It needs to be stored very, very intelligently. And a lot of that intelligence comes from the intelligent design that Intel and EMC are working on together. When you have billions of new intelligent devices and billions of new users coming into the internet, generating data, again, that data isn't just stored out on disk drives somewhere, it's stored intelligently in the right place, in the right way, at the right time. I'd like to thank you for your time today. I gotta head back to the labs because we're working on our next, next generation technology between Intel and EMC. Your job is to go out and sell. If you have any questions at all, please contact your Intel EMC field team. Thank you very much. Go sell. Thanks.